Okay, number 12. I'm going to dress like that. Oh, yeah. Now, who are you watching? Who playing, though? John Moran. See, then he goes, look, 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 look. All right, y'all heard my son. He want his hair like John Morant. So we're going to try to recreate these barrel twists that he has, even though my son does not have dreads. I'm going to try to get him that look. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so we're going to hop right into it. This is my son's hair. It has been freshly washed, blow dry, and I did deep condition it because he has color now. But he wants me to recreate this barrel twist style that John Morant has. My son does not have dreadlocks right now. I hope to try to get him this look. So we're going to start off by detangling his hair and combing it through. I'm going to go ahead and part his hair into four sections because it looks like John Morant's hair is in like four big barrel twists. So I'm just going to make sure that his hair is in four big sections. Whenever I do a middle part, I always have to come in the front to make sure that the part is directly down the middle. All right, so now that we have our hair sectioned off, the product I'm going to be using for this is Shine and Jam. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it on my wrist. If y'all have watched any of my other videos, y'all know what this is. But to start off, I'm going to put Shine and Jam all on that part. And then I'm going to part that down the middle because in order for me to give this a dreadlock look to make barrel twists, I have to do small twists in the section. So after I have all my product applied, I'm going to make small vertical parts. And this is just outlining where my twists are going to be. And the way I'm going to do this is just make small little twists toward the middle of the part. This technique is very similar to what I did in the Y twist video. I am going to link that up above, but this kind of gives the look of a dreadlock without actually having to commit to locking your hair. So I'm just going to keep twisting these small vertical sections toward the middle of that part until I am done with this half of the section. Then I'm going to repeat the same process on the other half. So this is what the top half looks like once I'm done with it. Now I'm just gonna move that out the way and start on the next half. When I start my parts for this half, I'm going to make the twist go toward the middle of that section. So when we are done, I can connect all of those to make a barrel twist. So this is how the section looks while all the twists are done. And now what I'm going to do is take the top two twists and twist those in a two strand twist. And now what I'm going to do is just add the other twist into that two strand twist, but I'm going to roll the twist now. Main thing about when you're doing this is that you want to make sure that the base of the mini twists that were done are kept tight. So what I do is I take it and I twist it in the direction that it was twisted and I add it to the big twist. And this just makes sure that that section stays very tight and the twist, well, the small twists don't lose their form. I'm going to show a better clip of this later on in the video, but basically I'm just making sure that the small little twists are uh, kept tight and I make it into a big barrel twist by adding them to the big twist in the middle. So once I get to the end of the section, I'm just going to keep rolling that twist around and I'm just going to keep doing that so I can keep that twist secure while I finish the other section. So this is what this section looks like once I'm done. Now I'm going to start on the next section. You see I've already parted that big section down the middle so we have two halves. And now I'm just going to make the small vertical part so we can do the small twist so it can make a big barrel twist. So here's a close up of me doing the small twist again. I'm just going to flat twist that toward the middle and make sure that that section is secure. And I'm just going to keep repeating that till I finish both halves. And then we're going to connect all of those twists toward the middle. So one thing that I did want to point out when you are doing your small twist is that you see that area there that's kind of big in the middle. That means that your twist is not tight enough. So what I do is just go back and add more product 
and retwist it and therefore you see that the twist looks more uniform so now i'm just working on completing this section y'all when i tell y'all this style took a long time to complete just because you want to make sure that everything looks good but these are all the twists once i'm done with that section now here's a close-up of what i do when i do the barrel twist you'll see here i just started off with a two strand twist and when it's time to add the other twist you want to twist that section in the direction that you're originally twisted to make sure that that base is nice and secure and you can see here that when i retwist that section it just makes that base look so much cleaner and it makes the parts look better so it just gives it that look that the person has dreads going into a barrel twist instead of like a loose mess <laughs> A couple of tips I will say is that when I did this style, I was in a rush because it was very late. So I did this while it was like really damp. I would suggest that if you're going to do this, let the product dry first. That way the small little twists have set and you don't have to worry about them unraveling so much. Uh, that was just something that I noticed while I was doing this style, but this is my first time completing it. So that's just a little tip. But once I got to the end, I wrapped that into a ball so uh, it could be secure. So when I was almost done, I ran out of product. So I just made sure that I had enough product to twist down the roots. And then I went back and added the product to the ends of the hair. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough product to last the whole style, but this way still turned out the same, but it took me less time to uh, apply the product this way. So if you are a person who's in a rush, you could just twist down the roots and then go back and add all the product to the small twist if that's something you wanna do to save time. So once the style was complete, I ended up twisting all four of those tails into a bun because that's how John Morant had his hair. And I think it finished off the style pretty nicely. So this is how the style looks once it's complete. And y'all, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna pop the reference picture back on here so you can compare it. But my son really liked it. He said it was fresh. I really like how the parts turned out. It kind of reminded me of when people used to wear fishbone braids back in the day. But I think this style turned out really cute. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think of this style. Would y'all try something like this? Um, overall, it took us about three hours to complete because I didn't know what I was doing at first. And yeah, my son kept falling asleep. But this is the finished look. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm not sure how long it'll last. I will try to update y'all once we see how everything goes. But if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of other styles you want us to try. And I'll see y'all in my next video.